Hello guys! I'm back! I'm Chal Posadas and welcome back to my channel! I know it's been a while since my last vlog. I think it's been already two weeks. And by the way, I have a good news for you. And... Chan chan na na! Familiar ba? Anong meron dito? Yes, you're right. I already received my combo card. So... Um, combo card is the combination of EAD and AP. So EAD is the Employment Authorization Document and Advanced Parole. Yeah, finally. Um, so today I'm gonna share with you my combo card timeline. So without further ado, let's get right to it. guys i'm gonna share with you a little history how i got here in the u.s so i got here in the u.s through k1 visa or also known as fiance visa and i'm now in the process of adjustment of status based on marriage so i got here in the u.s last april 30th 2020 and we got married last july 16 2020 and then the next month august i sent my adjustment of status also the EAD or employment authorization document and advanced parole free naman siya eh. kapag nag file ka ng adjustment of status uh, free naman na yung EAD and AP now i share ko na sa inyo ang aking AOS and combo card timeline so august 12 2020, we submitted our AOS packet to the USCIS. August 15, 2020, our AOS packet was delivered to the USCIS. September 8, 2020, we received the tax certification from the USCIS, which is the NOAA 1. September 12, 2020, we received the hard copy of the NOAA 1. October 23, 2020, we received the biometrics schedule. And then October 30, 2020, we received the RFE. So yeah, um, ang RFE namin is about I-944. Because if you remember, last July, the USCIS announced that they don't require us to submit the I-944. So yun, nagkaroon siya ng confusion kung sasubmit ba namin yung I-944 or hindi. Since they announced that they don't need or they don't require us to submit that form anymore, hindi ko na siya in-include. And then yun, somewhere in September, binalik naman nila ulit yung public charge. So they require us again to submit that. When I received my RFE notice, yun yung nakalagay. So, at least yun lang. Yun lang naman ang kulang ko. And Kompleto ko naman na yung mga requirements. So, hindi naman ako natagalan na i-collate lahat siya. And, nasubmit ko naman din agad yung RFE ko noong November 16, 2020. And then, November 18, 2020, RFE received by the USCIS. So, November 27, 2020, nag-update na din agad yung case tracker ko na case is ready to be scheduled for an interview. This is for the AOS. December 9, 2020, nag-update din sa tracker ko about the EAD that the new card is being produced. December 10, 2020, case was approved. Yay! <laughs> then December 14, card was mailed to me the combo card and December 15, 2020 card was picked up by the USPS and then December 17, 2020 card was delivered to me by the USPS ayun, yun yung timeline ko so ito yung marireceive nyo na approval letter about your EAD and advanced parole this is the I-797 Notice of action. 
So, application for employment authorization. Sabi dito, um, we have approved your application for employment authorization and advanced parole based on your pending form I-485 application to register permanent residence or adjust status. So, we will send your employment authorization document, also known as EAD card, to you separately. The EAD card will have an I-512 endorsement on it, which indicates that you have been approved for advanced parole. This is the approval letter for your EAD. And then the other letter, so this is for the advanced parole. We have approved your application for an advanced parole document. Your travel document will be mailed to you separately and will show the validity of the document and any travel conditions. So, mahaba pa naman yan. Mahaba yan. Hindi <laughs> ko na siya babasahin lahat. The next na may receive yung document is this. Yeah, so dito nakalagay yung combo card nyo. And this is how it looks like. So, may mga letter dyan. So, basahin nyo na lang. Hmm. And, charan! <laughs> and this is the combo card. Yeah, and take note guys that this combo card is valid only for one year. So while you're waiting for your green card, it's better to have your combo card then so you can apply for work na. And diba nakakainip pag nasa bahay ka lang. And you're not allowed to work without work permit or green card. And nowadays, given the situation of this COVID thing, talagang nade-delay. Marami nade-delay na green card application. And ang maganda naman sa combo card, mabilis lang yung process. Sa akin, diba, August ako nag-apply for AOS or combo card. And then, December, na-receive ko na siya. So, 4 months lang na process. So, next year, by January, mag-job hunting na ako. <laughs> Eh, parang nakakainip na rin sa bahay. Unfortunately, guys, may bad news pala ako. I have my combo card, but I don't have my social security number yet. Yeah, nung di ako nakapag-apply agad, nung dumating ako dito, kasi di ba nga, yung COVID, yung pandemic, so na-close yung SSA office, yung, or social security office. So, I just decided na isabay na lang yung application ng SSN sa AOS ko or EAD yun um, so far wala pa akong news kung kailan ko marireceive yung SSN card ko so I'll just wait na lang din for next year January kasi holiday na rin ha. kaya baka na delay na din yung process nya but if wala pa rin ako ma-receive na social security number by January. I'll call the SSA office directly na lang to apply na lang din sa kanila directly. Wala. Wala naman tayong magagawa. I cannot apply for a job without having that SSN number as well. So, hindi pwede na kung bukard lang yung mapapakita mo. So, requirement talaga na, mag, na meron kang social security number. So, yun, um, hindi, <laughs> tulo si pun ko. <laughs> so, yun, uh, update ko na lang kayo kung ano magiging next step pa or process na marireceive ko or gagawin ko pa. But for now, I'm just waiting for my interview schedule for the green card. Sana by next year. Lord, please help me. Please help us. <laughs> Ayun, yun lang naman din laging pray ko na talagang matapos na tong green card journey na to and to start a new life na talaga as a permanent resident here in the US. So, yun lang guys and enjoy nyo yung 
ano pala yung winter season. <laughs> First time, kaya medyo yung sinisipon-sipon tayo dyan. Nakabonet tayo. <laughs> Ayun, um, enjoy muna natin itong bakasyon natin. And then after naman natin ma-receive yung green card natin, yan, it's time na for us na to work. Yan, kumayod, yan, mag-save, and mag-invest, yes. <laughs> and that's it guys, um, flash ko na lang dito yung timeline ko for you to have an idea. So, this is all for now guys, and see you on my next video. Bye!